Okay, what, what do you want that on your stone? Just sweetly resting. I feel so blessed too that grandpa got a switch. But as a granddaughter and watching how my kids are with their grandparents, he is the last one, last grandparent of mine to be gone. Hey grandpa, you truly live and left an incredible inspiration and spiritual legacy for your children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, and great great grandchildren. You were always so full of life, smiles, and hugs. You loved so hard. You were always so consistent and passionate, showing love for your family, and more importantly, the love of God. Not only to your immediate family, but everyone around you far and near. You were so bold and always sharing the gospel, which has been a blessing to more than you will ever know. You had an intensely compassionate heart. Your love for children, as you would often say, God's greatest gift, was shown every time we entered your home and came for a visit. We only had one rule. No jumping on the freezer. I still don't get it. But if that was the only rule, it really didn't matter. The couch was okay. Yeah, the couch was okay, but not the freezer. I guess he really liked his food. I'm not sure. This gift was also evident in your compassion for reaching those around the world and your incredible vision for helping those in Africa. The Mozambique project was founded and created by your vision in helping the poor have access to water and basic living supplies. What a beautiful vision for life that you lived out generously. You were so ambitious. Your strong hands were a testament of how hard you worked to provide for your family and how hard you played. Some of my favorite memories with you were going for motorbike rides, downhill skiing, those many baseball games, and your love for fishing in the great outdoors. It's so crazy to now see how all these activities and all these memories we now do with our children. I was so blessed to have been able to hold your hand. One last time, just a few short days ago. Your passion for living life to its fullest was exemplified by always loving God, being compassionate, generous, gracious, and having the fun with those who have surrounded you. We'll always remember you, Grandpa, because there will never be another one to replace you in our hearts. And the love we will always have for you. You were and are so loved. Rest in peace. We are so grateful for the promise of heaven where we will all meet again. And I just want to say, Grandpa, that you gave Jet a Hamarna a few years ago. And I will admit, between him and Raven, I have not always loved the sound of it in the house, <laughs> but I think I will even more now. Thank you for the gift. <laughs>